Okay, so for I Want to Know Your Plans, by Say Anything, uh, the beginning part's pretty easy. You probably can get it just from looking at the tabs, but it just starts like... And some tabs tell you to do the ending little by uh, doing it on the, the sixth string, like... I think it's easier to do it up here. That makes sense. So um, after that, the part where he starts singing, the, where he comes in with, I want to know. Okay, so that part um, is actually not a G bar chord, like, like I had said earlier. It's um, a G seventh, which is similar, but instead of making the bar chord, just make a power chord with uh, your index, ring, and pinky finger, just like. And now it's just lift up your pinky and put your middle finger one fret below it on the same string so you get that kind of seventh sound. <laughs> okay, so um, you're basically going to alternate um, the bass note of this chord. So we're get basically the chord just being... But what you're going to do is you're going to kind of deconstruct it so that um, you alternate between the G and C notes, just which is the third fret on the sixth and fifth string. So you're just going... So to get to the third fret, you just lift up your ring fingers so that you're not covering the fifth fret anymore. So it just gives it that little alternating, like bum, 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 yeah. And if you want to, uh, you can hammer on your pinky back to uh, the fifth fret of the fourth string at the end of it to give it, uh, it basically just makes it back to the power chord. It just kind of uh, gives it like a full circle feeling, so like this. So when he's singing it, it sounds like, uh, I want to know your plans and how involved in them I am. So that's basically it. And then uh, he sings the, when I go to sleep for good, will I, okay, and then the, the transition here is, will I, Forgiven. And those notes are, um, it's basically, if it's easy, the easiest way to, to make this chord. If you make a C power chord with your index, I mean, sorry, with your, uh, your ring and pinky on the fifth fret of the third and fourth string, just forget about your index being on the C note and just put your middle finger on the fifth fret of the sixth string so that individually each note sounds like... And uh, what you're going to do is just, it's like, and on, on forgive Ven, when he says Ven, you switch down to, uh, the, the chord's the same, you just lift up your pinky and put your index finger one fret below it. So it's, it's the same, it's actually the same as, um, uh, Alive with the glory of love, it's just one step below. Like, alive is... So, basically here, you've just got... So, that's basically that part. Um, and then the, uh, if you want roses part is really easy. You just, uh, you're going to keep your, uh, those uh, same two fingers on the fifth frets of the third and fourth strings the whole time here and you're gonna play uh, three different chords keeping those there you're just gonna basically walk up your index finger from zero to two to three so you've got the if you want roses go buy a bouquet and those last two chords are just G and C so you've got if that just won't cut it And so um, that's basically everything up to the chorus. The chorus gets a little tricky. You know, I had said earlier, if you want to, you can just play it E minor, G, D, C, but it's not really correct. It's just kind of an easier way to do it. The correct way to do it, it actually starts on this weird variant of C where uh, it's like a C power chord, except your pinky needs to be uh, two frets higher. 
so that it's actually playing a, a, a D note on the third string. So it's on the seventh fret of the third string. So you've got this this thing going on here. Another way to do it, if you can't stretch your fingers that far, is put your pinky and uh, index finger like this on these two notes. Sorry, my fingers are kind of in the way. Like that. And then put your uh, middle finger on the third fret of the second string. And just try not to play any of the other strings so it gets that same effect. You can kind of hear that higher note resonating. But anyway, either way you want to do it, that's the first note. So you've got this, You're what keeps me believing. And then believing is on, uh, it's this little triangle chord where you've got uh, your ring finger and your pinky on the seventh fret of the fifth and third string. And then your index fingers is on the string in between them, uh, two frets down on the fifth fret. So you've got it's like a it's just like a little triangle chord. I'm not sure what it's called, but yeah. So you've got you're what keeps me believing the world's not gone. And so uh, the on world it's just a D power chord. So keeps me believing. And then on dead, uh, this is kind of harder. It's back to that um, that like five 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 on the sixth, fourth, and third string that like we did earlier on the. Except, except he's gonna make the, uh, two changes here. It's a, there's uh, three variants of the chord, and he does them all very fast. It, it's like a little walk down. He goes, and to do that, um, the first one you lift up your pinky. So the first chord is, then you lift up your pinky and have the index finger a fret below it. And then um, right after that, the harder one is you're going to put your pinky um, on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So that's an A note. And uh, you don't really need to worry about your uh, your ring finger now because it's, it's, uh, that string's changed. So it, this one sounds like... So you've got... Um, it's just like that's how he plays it. It's and then um, from there, it just goes back again to uh, the beginning of the chorus. So basically, the whole chorus just sounds something like I'll probably mess up a little, but it's I'm used to playing it the other way. But you're what keeps me believing the world's not gone dead. Strengthen my bones, put the words in. on the last part instead of doing that little you just drop from the D from the D power chord to a C and he just holds the C and then he's like cuz that's what you do and it goes back to that that thing and then it repeats itself um, so that's basically the song there's a bridge at the end too I'm, I'm not sure I didn't really look up how to do that uh, but yeah, so basically, just uh, you're gonna start with the intro. Got that little uh, little verse part ending with um, the, and then uh, you got the walk up for the kind of pre-chorus. The and then when the actual chorus comes in, it's just. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it.